How is going? So let's talk about cleaning. As you're aware, the Nate Crony is an enclosed design. This makes it ultra reliable in terms of detection, internal lights, sun, shade, clouds, nothing affects it. The downside to that design and anything that's enclosed or anything that has an optical sensor is they can get dirty, which is why they can't be used on powder. If the sensors get blocked, it thinks there's a pellet there and it behaves as such. So on the earlier versions of software, you may get a really, really high reading, something like 9,998 feet per second. In the later versions of software, when the product boots up, it does a sensor check. If it detects that there's some fouling on the sensors, it'll give you a clean the sensor error page. Also, if anything happens during its operation, one of the sensors stays blocked, it'll reboot because it's detected that, so it can do the sensor check and the same thing again. So if you have a shot and it resets itself, you refresh the page, you get that error, that's why that's happening. It always looks for that dirty condition. If it detects it, gives you that clean the sensors page. Uh, it is a design trade-off between having something ultra reliable. If you've got a real dirty, smoky springer, it's probably not gonna be the greatest design for you. Anything PCP, a good clean springer is not gonna have issues. I've had customers that have put thousands of shots through them without a single problem. Uh, one customer had issues after about 500. It's very easy to clean, very easy to resolve. But again, good clean air is essential. If you do some servicing of a springer, take about you know 10 to 20 shots, run a cleaning pellet before you use the Nate Crony, not just things like graphite dust or some smoke from some burnt lubricant, but also little lead shards. Lead shards can come off the pellets and lodge themselves inside of the crony. So a cleaning pellet, good clean air, you wanna wash your pellets, that'll make things a little bit easier for you as well, depending on how dirty they are. But it's a design that works well. As I said, I've had customers running thousands of pellets, so it's not as though it is a high maintenance design. If you're shooting a lot, you're probably gonna be pedantic with good clean pellets. If you're not doing a lot of testing, you're not gonna be putting a lot of pellets. Even if they're dirty, you're not gonna be putting that much dirt through it. So it sort of balances out. So the way to clean the Nate Crony, there's gonna be three different methods that you can use and we'll go through them. So come on in and we'll have a look at how to do the cleaning procedure for the V2 Nate Crony. Alrighty, so the tools you're gonna to use uh, at worst, a Phillips head screwdriver. The V2s come with a little driver, uh, a standard little PH1 uh, Phillips head screwdriver, works a treat. A toothbrush, a good clean toothbrush that you haven't used. Toothpaste is actually mildly abrasive. Do not use a toothbrush you have been brushing with. A little kid's toothbrush is probably gonna be the best one because it's gonna be nice and small uh, and it's gonna be really nice and soft. So if you do get the, the, the dirty sensor error, first thing to do is to use a vacuum. Put the vacuum cleaner on the end, make sure you remove it from your firearm, of course. Put the vacuum cleaner and just suck air through. Hopefully that will dislodge everything that is in there. Uh, if it's something like, you know, little lead shards or maybe a little bit of plastic that's come off while in transportation or some grit, dust or dirt, the vacuum cleaner should hopefully remove that. So first step, give it a good vacuum, pop it on the end, let it run for 10 seconds, see how you go after that. If you need a little bit of additional testing, sorry, additional cleaning, get your toothbrush. So the sensor location is roughly gonna be where the screws are. So if you can get to where the screws are, you should be fine. So your toothbrush, line it up so that you're holding it here. Insert your toothbrush, give it a little bit of a rub, front and back, the front sensor, the back sensor, then get the vacuum cleaner, of course, after you've done the brushing, any dislodged dust, particles, etc., will come straight out there. So just a quick little wipe with a toothbrush, that'll solve about 90% of your problems. The only other thing is gonna be if you've got a dirty smoking springer, something like that, that's depositing some oil or some residue onto the Nate Crony sensors. 
We did a lot of design work internally to minimize that happening. All the issues we've seen so far has really just been something lodged inside uh, the sensor holes. So to fix the potential of dirty, oily, smoky sensors, there are four screws on the side. Remove the four screws on the top of the cover. You'll also remove the screw for the adapter at the rear as well. Make sure you keep these screws. These are very specific screws. They are expensive little buggers. They're stainless steel and have a very specific thread profile for plastics. Remove your screw for the um, adapter there. And what you're gonna be able to do is to take the cover off. Some covers are relatively tight. The other thing you can do as well, which you'll have to do is to take the bottom cover off. So the three longer screws on the bottom cover. And that'll just separate. So leave the adapter in, in place. All the screws are undone. And what you wanna do is to push on the adapter and the bit here. This is a really easy to take off case. Some are a little bit harder. So you're basically squeezing that and you want to remove the end of the crony like that and then pull it out. Don't try and pull it out that way. You'll bend the smaller section. So lever out the rear of the crony and pull it out like that. You've then got the body of the Nate crony. There is one small screw on the circuit board. You can then wiggle jiggle the circuit board off and there you can see you've got the sensors. Getting a cotton tip, um, nothing too aggressive, maybe a little bit of rubbing alcohol, but typically a nice soft cotton tip and just rub the front of those sensors. Don't push too hard. You can bend them, you can move them. Very, very light touch of the sensors. When you're putting it in place, one side first, little jiggle, little jiggle. Don't force anything, you can bend it. Push that in place, put on the circuit board screw on the bottom. And then you'll probably wanna hold either side of the front sensors to make sure they don't catch when you're putting it in. Put in the front and again, put in the rear. If it's tight, again, you can hold the sensors in to make sure that they don't catch on the cover. Pushing it in like that. And then you wanna put in all your screws. I'd recommend doing your cover screws first and then the base plate screws. Once you have the cover in place, you should be good to go. Uh, and everything will be hopefully nice and clean and that will be the cleaning procedure finished. If you have any other issues, if it didn't clean, if it didn't resolve the problem, uh, please reach out to us, crony at Nate Crony. Everything will be back together. Again, maybe make sure that after you've gotten a dirty sensor error, put a couple of cleaning pellets through it. Make sure that you've got good clean air. Do the vacuum process after you've done any disassembly. A little bit of plastic may have rubbed off as well. So always, always finish with the vacuum. And that's how to clean the Nate Crony. Again, you should be getting hundreds to thousands of shots before a cleaning process. We do have an updated design that'll be coming out probably some of the early version 5.3s where you take off the back cover and the board should come out straight out the bottom. But that's for the later version 5.3 software. If you have something before that, serial numbers up to about 700, you need to take off the cover. Post 680, you should be able to undo the bottom cover, remove that PCB and pull it straight out to clean. So a little bit easier on the latter ones that we'll start sending out very, very shortly. So there you go, enjoy your testing.